a uh, Yamaha XSR 700 um, yeah I have it about a month um, or slightly over but it's so far a uh, really really enjoyable ride so I suppose you know I'm a first time kind of biker I've never only passed my test uh, and I've just really been enjoying it so far so I'll take I'll just go out a trip uh, and sure we can talk about the bike and what it's like to be a new rider very novice um, and buying the Yamaha XSR 700 and is it a good bike for a beginner uh, as I am a beginner <coughs> and yeah I'll just go through some of the details so I suppose just to start with security wise uh, the bike is pretty well secured at night um, I've got trackers different types of locks I've got the brake lock uh, brake dust locks I've got heavy chains I've got bike covers and as I say I've got the a tracker on it so if it goes missing I know exactly uh, where it's at and what type of uh, baseball bats they bring <laughs> so uh, yeah it's really nice bikes I bought it new and uh it's been yeah it's it's actually a really nice bike to ride so i'll just uh, get on here and uh, we'll get it get out of trip <laughs> yeah so i'll just take a wee take a run on the, the wicklow mountains uh and we'll uh just uh, just talk about the bike i suppose and uh, if you have any questions, as I say, if you have a look at the video and you're interested and find out more, but as I say, I'm, I'm a basic rider. I've no uh, prior experience in bikes, and my thoughts on this bike as a beginner bike is I, I love it, you know, I really do, I really do enjoy it. Uh, it's got plenty of power, it's got a lot of power to get you out of trouble and it's it's got plenty of power to get you in trouble as well so uh but uh just a just a nice amount of power you know it, it, it doesn't have that suppose that super bike lightning's performance um but i kind of like that i like the fact that it's more torquey and you can just titter about and it'll you know when when you when you when you dip the throttle it, it definitely uh, it goes well um, I had no real comparisons I, I was on a Bandit an older Suzuki Bandit I was certain but as I say I, I can't compare it to any other bike I've just been reading reviews like most people and when I when I was testing when I was doing my lessons in the MT-07 I kind of made my mind up that I really loved the engine uh, and I love the sound um, so yeah I had me when I seen the, the XSR 700 I just loved the looks as well uh, and even people who were a lot more experienced riders than me they loved it as well so it made sense it really made sense I like the style um, and it goes it goes pretty well So if you ever come across the, wherever you're from, if you ever come across the Ireland and you're in Dublin, try and get up into the mountains, you know, it's a really nice part of Dublin. Uh, I'm just going to head up over the Dublin mountains and then the Wicklow, the Wicklow mountains, uh, and I'll just take a short, short ride. I don't know if you get the, the noise coming through the microphone or the engine. So this 
uh, this bike, my bike, is uh, it's completely standard. I haven't done anything to it yet. Um, a lot of the complaints really about this bike is the fact that it's almost like an incomplete uh, project, you know. It's and it, that that was purposeful. I believe Yamaha, uh, from from what I've seen as well, is that Yamaha has left this bike, Kenna, for customization. And the exhaust that they provided was is quite dampened down. Um, but you know, it's I suppose if you have a throw rear exhaust, you get the full full rasp of the engine. Uh, but for me, it's it's fine for now. Yeah? I don't know. Like I love in a kind of place where a lot of elderly people live and. Uh, I think maybe a, a, a noisier exhaust is something that I might just put on the back burner for a wee while. Uh, but it, it doesn't sound bad stock, you know. It probably sounds, I think I've seen videos, it does, it does sound much better. It does sound much better. We, uh, I don't know, there's different, different custom exhausts you can get for them. And, you know, it definitely brings out the note of the engine much, much nicer. Uh, but yeah, maybe maybe down the track. <coughs> but if you're looking to buy a bike and you just passed your test, uh, you're not looking for something too crazy. You like retro bikes. <coughs> you know, there was a couple that I was looking at early on, and that was uh, I was looking at the Ducati Scrambler, and I was looking at the Thruxton. So up as a. Uh, what do you call it? The uh, Triumph. Yeah. Was, so there was a couple of bikes, kind of, it's very, you know, kind of similar, but more. You know, some of them look more retro. Some of them, <coughs> some of them were. Uh, what would you say? Well, the Scrambler was a Scrambler, you know, it was a Kia Scrambler. Uh, but uh, I suppose the reason I went for the Yamaha was the price as well. It was a wee bit cheaper in the Ducati Scramblers, and comparatively, there there isn't a whole lot of, you know, they were actually compared really well, uh, and the Yamaha held held their own throughout the range. So a lot of people actually preferred the Yamaha than most of the other ones. So it was a no-brainer. I uh, suppose the the Triumph you have that you definitely have a more raspier kind of better sound it, it it looks more classic it looks more retro you know if you're buying under that that style it's a completely what it says in the tin uh the engines are probably just that wee bit more kind of of an older vibe as well uh and i and i do like the kind of the retro with a modernized element in the yamaha so that that kind of swung me for this bike But it's it's definitely it's no slouch. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm just as I say, if you've any questions or any queries, uh, but it's it's a great it's a, it's actually a really nice bike for a first first a beginner. You know, you just have to be mindful that. Uh, it's not like a one two five. I remember years ago, if you were a beginner, you you, you, you always got on a smaller bike, uh, and there was good reason for that. You know, there was definitely good reason for that because uh, I suppose the expectation was is that you weren't going to uh, really abuse the power. So you really have to keep that in mind uh, when you're on a bigger bike. You've you've just got you've just got lots of power. Uh, and if you abuse it, it, it will, uh, yeah, you know, if you're not, if you're like me and you're not really used to bikes, you could get out of hand, you know, you, you could definitely uh, overutilize the power and, and not have that experience and put yourself on a ditch, so, uh, you know, just be mindful, um, and as I say, if you're probably, you know, you're maybe in your 30s or 40s, I'm thinking it's a good idea for uh, to get on the motorbikes, and probably is. Do it. <coughs> on my channel, you'll probably see uh, out of Dodge. So if you if you like this video, 
um, subscribe to my channel and it's probably just you know if you're interested in similar things I'll definitely do more videos on my motorbike and some trips but I'm really interested in uh, converting camper vans as well so I've got a T4 Volkswagen T4 which I've converted and I'm currently converting a horse box so it's a, Volks, a VW LT35 horse box and the uh, camper van so that's my newest project and that's I'm, a, I'm gonna probably take about a I'm hoping that's gonna be done within the year so I would say July next year I'm hoping they finish that uh, so I'm just gonna take my time which I'm doing with it now um, and just work on it and, and uh, get it get it up to the standard that I want so one of the reasons I bought the LT was so good it's actually it's actually got a it's kind of like a ramp that falls down off the lorry which will let the horses in so effectively I'm just going to use that to put my bike in the back and then hopefully travel Europe or other parts of the world um, maybe girlfriend and just work remotely and travel uh, that's really the dream um, But this is the Wicklow Mountains. It's absolutely beautiful. What a day. What a day to be on a bike. Oh. So just look at that. Look at that view. This is why I live in Ireland. This is why I came home from Australia. Because there's nothing quite like Ireland. It's home. And it's beautiful. So if you're ever down in the... If you're, if you're ever in Ireland and you go to Dublin, uh, just remember Wicklow Mountains is right behind you. It's absolutely beautiful really is if you get weather like this don't be staying in the city get out of the city get straight into the mountains it's 
real, uh, it's definitely, it's one of the nicest parts, you know. So when it's right on your, uh, even if it's a business trip, we work, or you're coming here with Microsoft or Google or whatever. Uh, yeah, take a trip up the mountains if you have to rent a car out. Uh, definitely do it, you know. It's been, it's been a kind of paradise, to be honest. It's right beside. It's close to where I live in 